I'm going to go to the website disneyworld.disney.go.com and you'll go to this My Disney Experience tag right here. When you're going to sign in, you'll be able to click sign in, but first you'll need to create an account. So you'll go to create an account and then you'll enter in some information. Now it's very important as a student, you need to enter in the proper information, which is not your home address and things like that. We'll be using the school address. So I'll go through that in a minute. So um, we'll use Natalie's email for now. Is there a number too? Two. All right, at student.bcsdny.org. All right, you will then create a password. I highly, highly suggest um, that you use a password that you use for the rest of your stuff so that you don't lose this password because getting it back is tough. Okay, and then you'll put in your name. And of course, you'll need to have, uh, I guess I don't have enough things, so let's just add a number to it. There we go. Okay. So I've got my password. Then you enter in your name. After your name, you'll put your birthday. Stuff. Now, when we go to the contact information, we're going to use the school's address. If you're an adult, you don't need to do that, but students must use the school address. This is actually a legal thing. You have to do it. So 632 South Bedford Road, Bedford, New York, 10506. There we go. You'll choose your security questions. Um, so for right now, I don't know. Let's see. What have we got here for Trotty? What's your favorite movie? Yeah. All right. And then uh, what is your favorite, uh, let's see, favorite vacation spot is clearly Disney. All right. You do not want to receive updates and emails from Disney. My God, don't click that and, you know, agree to that. So everything is all set. You'll hit create account. And then you'll have to go to your school email to likely verify it. So it'll take a minute. Okay, and now we're all set. You'll notice over here, I am now logged in as Natalie Trotta. It's logged in right there. I can view my itinerary, my reservations, and all that stuff. What's going to be important to you is to go immediately to your My Family and Friends list. And you're going to have to add me to your family and friends list so that I can access your account and put your park ticket and your hotel reservation and all those other things in. So you're going to click Add a Guest. And then you're going to enter their name and age. So, Matt Vanacoro. All right. And then under age, oh my God, I have to, we'll just stick with 18 plus. There we go. <laughs> this is an important thing right here. I want to manage all plans for this guest or invite this guest to connect. You cannot choose, I want to manage plans for this guest. That is if you are adding a child who is underage. So for example, my four-year-old son does not have his own Disney account. I added him and then I click, I want to manage his plans. If you pick this, you'll think that you have just made friends with me, but you actually have not. You just created a child that's named me and that's not gonna work. You wanna click invite this guest to connect and then enter their email address. Mine is mvanacora1114 bcsdny.org. It is very important that you get that right. Again, if you choose I want to manage these plans, I'm going to show up in your friends list, but I'm not going to be able to give you your park ticket or your hotel because Disney thinks I am your child. That is weird and wrong. Okay, so you'll click done, you'll wait, and then you'll see me show up in your list and there'll be an invitation pending. So that's how you'll know if you did it right. If you look at your list, you'll see that you have an invitation pending. If you created me as your child, there's not gonna be any invitation pending. You just made me and I'm your child and that's it. Okay, so that's very important. Now, to add other guests, like you're gonna to wanna to add your parents who you're going with, any chaperone you go, or other friends. You, you must add the people in your room immediately. But then if you want to plan like other friends in other groups and you guys wanna make plans together, you'll wanna add them too. So you'll click add a guest and then you'll do the same thing you just did. You'll enter in their school email. You'll enter their name and age, and you'll enter their school email. 
and that'll be so just remember don't ever pick i want to manage plans for this guest unless you're watching this video and you are a mommy or daddy and you are bringing young brother or sister or something like that and you don't wish for them to create their own account you can make their account and manage them for them okay so that is it